Okay, it's five in the morning. I'm doing it. I'm awake. Uh, welcome to the five in the morning vlog series. Uh, the series where I wake up every single morning at uh, five in the morning and I try and be productive, hoping to inspire you to be productive. It is 5.02. Uh, so I'm going to send out my Snapchat streaks uh, and then we're going to start being productive. Okay, I've officially sent out these streaks. If you don't know, I'm doing a like Snapchat YouTube streaks thing. Uh, so if you want to join me in this 5 a.m. Uh, journey and wake up early and be productive with me, you can join the streaks team. Uh, just add me on Snapchat, Matthew Hedgehog, and I will send you a Snapchat every morning when I wake up and do this. All right, uh, first things first, I got to get coffee because if I'm going to be productive uh, this early, uh, I need coffee. So let's go do that. All right, I am in the kitchen. Uh, you might hear my heat going on in the background. That's because it's cold outside, and if the heat's not on, I'm gonna be a cold boy, so we're gonna leave the heat on. Uh, but I do have dirty dishes here, so I'm gonna do these this morning. Um, but let's put the coffee on the Keurig here, um, and let's get this coffee going. All right, coffee's going. Um, so we're going to do dishes while the coffee goes uh, to be productive. So first thing we're doing is dishes at 5 in the morning. That's that's wild. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so the coffee is done. Uh, so we're going to get this. We're going to go back to my room. Um, and I do believe there is something important about um, starting your day, and that's to have a quiet time. Now, I don't know what your quiet time is. Usually mine is reading a book, grabbing a coffee, just sitting down and having a nice like 30 minutes with a book and just quiet and silence because I feel like that's very important to starting your day. So I'm gonna have a quick uh, 30 minute quiet time. I'm actually reading the book here. Uh, it's called Becoming Wise. An inquiry, that's not how you pronounce that word. An inquiry into the mystery and art of living by Krista Tippett. Uh, would highly recommend it's a great book I actually have like a stack of books here that I'm like currently reading um, so I gotta get through those because I know I'm getting more books for Christmas get hype uh, but yeah so I'm gonna have a like 30 minute quiet time and then we're gonna get super productive I was just doing some reading and I really wanted to share this I thought it was beautiful uh, she said beautifully the task of the novelist is to deepen mystery and then she pauses and says but mystery is a great embarrassment to the modern mind and there's our tragedy that we have to resolve all mystery we can't let it be we can't rejoice in it we can't celebrate it we can't affirm it as an aspect of our lives because after all mystery is an aspect of our lives and mystery you bet mystery is a great challenge it's an invitation and it's a wonderful companion actually uh and then down here it says, black holes are in their way, explicable. The simplest living being is not. I lean a bit more confidently into the experience that life is so endlessly perplexing. I love that word. Spiritual life is a way of dwelling with perplexity, taking it seriously, searching for its purpose as well as in its perils, its beauty as well as its ravages. Uh, I just... I just thought that was a really great passage. And often when I'm reading, I come across things that I really want to share. So I figured in this series I would just uh, share them with you all and... I hope you enjoy it, because uh, I really enjoy um, reading and learning new things and being able to share it, so, yeah. Okay, uh, reading's done, and now I'm going to go make myself breakfast, because breakfast is a very important meal uh, to get that metabolism going and uh, to be a healthy boy, uh, so we're going to go make me some breakfast. Okay, so I'm going to have a banana, but I also want to show you my cereal, uh, because I got quite... <laughs> <laughs> Quite the cereal box. We got Mulan Princess cereal. It's uh, strawberry flavored. Now, uh, I just want to tell you guys, this stuff's really not that good. Uh, I saw it and I was like Mulan, so I had to get it. But the flavor is not great. Uh, let's look at the back of the box. Uh, <laughs> what's this say? Uh, it says, fearless, clever, tough, and loyal. Mulan saves her nation and brings honor to her family. Being a princess is all about believing in yourself and what you can accomplish when you dare to dream really, really big. Can you think of a time where you made your family proud through your courage, intelligence, or spirit, just like Mulan? Well, that's a, that's a, actually, that's quite a good thing to think about. Can you think of a time where you made your family proud through your courage, intelligence, or spirit? Comment below.
Okay, breakfast is done, and so now it's time to go work out. And I was just going to go to my gym to run this morning, but I figured I should just go um, to a more beautiful uh, nature, scenic view. So I'm going to go to the flood wall in Richmond, Virginia, and I'm going to run there. Uh, so yeah, let's get dressed. Okay, so yeah, I am officially dressed and ready to go run in the cold. Uh, I'm going to take out the trash before I go, and then I will meet you at the flood wall. All right, I've officially made it to the flood wall. No one is here. I guess that's because it's a Thursday morning, so it's normally a work morning for people. I guess I just turned my car off, so that's not in the background. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go run. Um, I'll take you with me. I'll go up to the flood wall, show you the view. Although you might have already seen it in a few of my other videos. Uh, but yeah, let's go get our workout on early morning. It is 7:03, uh, and so the sun rises at 7:17, so we should be able to see it. I hope it's pretty. <laughs> Okay, so I'm atop the flood wall. Look at this view. Like, life is so beautiful. Like, just, just look at this. Isn't that insane how beautiful that is? Um, but it is very cold. I'm about to run, do my workout. Uh, I can't wait to be warmed up from the cardio. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful morning, uh, and I'll talk to you guys after the workout. As the winter breeze crosses my mind I stare at the door just wasting time I know it's gonna be alright As the winter breeze just hits my face I brace myself for the snowy flakes I know it's gonna be alright Because winter doesn't last forever The frosted breath just clouds my eyes and this is what life's all about. Look at that. Like, I am just so in awe of the beauty of that. Like, oh my gosh, look at that sunrise. You know, I never really wake up early enough to go out and see the sunrise, especially in such a beautiful location. Um, and it's really just beautiful to me. And it, I don't know, I just have this feeling like everything's gonna be all right. It's like that feeling of bliss and beauty all encapsulated in just a view and I just finished my run uh, so I'm coming down for that the sun's coming up it's heating me up and it's just so beautiful so just take that in and wherever you are I encourage you uh, in your 5 a.m. Uh, journey to go out and see the sunrise because that right there is an amazing piece of art that the universe created um, it should be thoroughly enjoyed every single day because this is a gift life is a gift everything's a gift and I'm just happy I can be here to create this and experience this. Um, so yeah, this, is, this has been a beautiful morning. I, I'm really enjoying this series so far. So yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end today's 5 a.m. morning vlog. Uh, I want to thank you for watching uh, the first episode of 5 a.m. morning vlogs, the series where I wake up every morning at 5 a.m. and I get up and I vlog and try and be productive, hoping to inspire you to be productive. If you want to join the Snapchat streaks, the YouTube streaks, uh, just add me on Snapchat, at Matthew Hedgehog, send me a snap. It's like, hey, want to join in on the 5 a.m. streaks? Uh, we can be productive together. Uh, but life is truly beautiful, and this first day of filming this has really opened my eyes and shown me that because the morning's not something I usually see uh, and I'm just so happy so thank you for watching thank you for being here with me uh, for this um, and wish me luck in continuing to vlog every day for the rest of my existence <laughs> at 5 a.m. Uh, so yeah have a wonderful day uh, you're an amazing person take care